Hello everyone, this is Award Exposure. You know, I'm so sick of reading about the war on Christmas. Actually, it's an assault on Christmas, not a war. It's bad enough when they force people to take Jesus from Christmas, since the birth of Jesus is the reason for it, but now they don't even want people to have their traditional secular symbols like Santa Claus and Christmas trees. Oh wait, are we still supposed to be calling them holiday trees? A principal in Connecticut is banning all of that stuff in his elementary school. He says he does not want any kind of holiday celebrations at all because it might offend some of the other kids. This is an elementary school. The kids aren't at the age to be stupid enough to be offended by it. Besides, as long as we don't bring up Jesus or anything out of the Bible, doesn't that make it okay? A Massachusetts town even banned a fire station's Merry Christmas sign that was made by firefighters over 50 years ago because people complained about it. And atheist, agnostics, and secular humanists in Pennsylvania were successful in getting a nativity scene banned in the town's public square. And one school in New Jersey, kids aren't allowed to sing religious Christmas carols anymore. An atheist in Wisconsin forced the state of Washington to ban any religious displays inside the buildings at the Capitol campus in Olympia after atheists put up a sign mocking religion close to a nativity scene last year. This same group, Freedom From Religion, forced the family in Michigan to remove a nativity scene that has been displayed in the median of a public roadside outside a church for the past 63 years every Christmas. It was built by the head of the family's father back in 1945. And if you thought it could not get any worse, according to Desiree Rogers, the social secretary, Barack Obama and his family did not even plan on putting up the traditional nativity scene in the East Room as had been done for years in the past. That's right, according to Rogers, the president of One Nation Under God seems to have been planning a non-religious holiday. And in Obama's speech during the lighting of the Christmas tree, he could not even mention the name of Jesus. Obama has even stated that the family does not even exchange gifts on Christmas. I don't think it's a good thing when the president of one nation under God takes a Christian holiday and tries to make it neutral. I'm also sick of Christians being second class citizens. Christmas is a Christian holiday. We celebrate the birth of Christ. The majority of Americans are Christians. I'm sick of it being secularized to make it a neutral holiday. Do the atheists and agnostics take part in the secular traditions of the holidays? Is that why we are forced to secularize it? Is that why big retailers tell their employees not to say Merry Christmas? Is that why the same retailers only play secular Christmas music in their department stores? Although it is their big time of year and they're making billions of dollars from the people who are celebrating the birth of Christ? They should be thankful for the birth of Jesus. And why are atheists and agnostics so obsessed with God and Jesus anyhow? For example, I don't believe in UFOs and aliens, but I don't devote myself to a religion that wastes a lot of time and energy trying to debunk one's beliefs of it. And yes, they're both religions, and Christians have to tolerate their beliefs, messages, and ideologies all year around.